Hello all of my awesome viewers, this is Dead Chat, and welcome to another how-to tutorial video. So in this video we are going to be discussing how to use another screen recorder program. So for those of you that have watched the basic sh shortcut keys for Xbox Live, you are quite familiar with the fact that we can record using Xbox Live. But there is one drawback to Xbox Live. We cannot record outside of the gaming realm. Or in other words, we can't record outside of a game or a gaming program like Minecraft and World of Warships and World of Tanks. Or those are some examples. I mean, we could, but it's not registered through Xbox Live. So then that leads us to the question, how can we screen record outside of the gaming realm? Well, that's what we are going to cover in this episode. So let's go onto my computer and check out how to use a screen recorder program. So as much as I would like to use Active Presenter to show you how to use Active Presenter, unfortunately I cannot do that because I cannot record Active Presenter on top of Active Presenter. But what I can do is record Active Presenter on a PowerPoint that's how to screen record using Active Presenter. So that's why I chose to do. Um, this how-to tutorial will walk you through how to use Active Presenter, but will not walk you through on the installing options. So if you want to know how to install or what certain options do, you know, do when you install the program, I would recommend that you go into the Active Presenter's website and that will give you tutorials on how to, on how to install the program. So once you have installed the program, what you're first going to do is click on the Active Presenter icon, which is located where the arrow is pointing. The next option is after that, it will pull up a, I guess, a new template, a new templates, and you may notice for mo for those of you for those of you that use Microsoft Office, this looks r roughly exactly the same as Microsoft Office. I mean, there's a few things that are shifted that are different, but it's relatively similar, especially in those through 2012 and up. So that's one of the things I noticed. And so once you enter, once you are in that layout, then go to record video. Then you're going to bring up, and then that's going to bring up the taskbar with functions onto your screen, and I will, and I will walk through all of these functions so you, so you won't get lost in what these functions do. So the first one is the full screen option. The full screen option allows you to capture, to capture your entire screen, and this is used in most recordings. I use this pretty much in every recording because I don't see the point of a custom recording because I want to capture the whole screen. Give me my, my I, okay. So the next, which brings me to the next option is the custom screen option. So the custom screen option will capture a certain portion of your screen. And this option is used if you want to record a small application or you want to hide information from the audience. So if there's some personal information that you don't want to give on a particular application, you can adjust the screen size to fit your needs. And then if we go right, we go to the size op the size option that's right next to the custom screen option. The, the size option will allow you to adjust the custom screen, but you can do this manually. So this is one of the ways. The other way is the grid. So once you choose the custom option, this grid will pop up and you can adjust the grid how you want to to fit your application. But if you know specifically what pixels you have, the, the, the first option might be your best bet. But if you don't know much about uh, computer or computers or pixel measurements, you can use the grid option. So then the cut. So then uh, following that is the lock to application. Uh, this option will allow you to lock to a specific application. Uh, this will follow. This will be followed by a drop down menu that will allow you to pick which application you want to record on. I don't see the point of this application, but you can test that out if if you want. The the next, now onto the audio and webcam options. So first we're going to move on to the webcam. So the webcam option will allow you to turn on your webcam. And when you click on the webcam icon, you can select which webcam you want. This is important if you have multiple webcams and you want a different angle. May not be important for face cam, but you never know. So and then and then next to that is the webcam picture that will give you a sample of what the webcam looks like. This is important when you're differentiating between different webcams. The next one is the audio, or I think it's the audio icon. The audio option will allow you to have sound, will allow you to have sound, and like the webcam, if you click on the audio icon, there will be a drop-down menu for you to select which mic you want. This is also again important if you have multiple mics. 
Next to that is the volume control. The volume bar will allow you to adjust the volume of your mic. So if your mic is too loud, you can lower it, and if your mic is too soft, you can move it up. The next button is the record button. The record button will allow you to start recording. Once you click the record button, Active Presenter will take you through a three second countdown phase, and then we'll start recording. So we'll go one, two, three. Once you have finished your recording, if you're on Windows, you can go down to your icon or your application tab, which is where the arrow is located, and then you can click in the Active Presenter icon, which is which is the same thing as the Active Presenter icon you see in this picture. That's right below Audacity. And then this, and then this, uh, once you click the application, the icon or the application manager, the closing toolbar will pop up. Closing toolbar will pop up, and then. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to walk you through on how on what the, the three buttons do. So the first one is the pause, pause and start button. The pause and start button will allow you to pause and start recording when necessary. The stop button will allow you to stop the recording. The discard button will allow you to discard a recording. And once you hit that button, another pop or this menu will pop up concerning what to do with the recording. If you choose the discard option, you if you choose the disc this. this if you choose the discard option, it will discard your video footage entirely and bring you up to the finished recording layout. Actually, I don't think it will. It, yeah, it will. The, the recapture option will allow you to recapture and that will overwrite your previous video with your new recording. The next option is the disc... The, what? Oh, next, next, op, next button is the continue button and this will allow you to continue recording basically nothing happens and this is important if you accidentally click the button and then after that you once you once you uh, I think it's the finished once you hit the stop button it will bring you to the finished recording layout and this is what it will look like uh, you can play around with the webcam if the web like by default the webcam will always be right in the bottom right hand corner but you can move it to the upper right hand corner left hand corner etc so you can play around with that so when in, in terms of saving the project, you can go to Active Presenter and then hit the save and then choose a save as option. This will bring up File Explorer and that will allow you to choose where you want to save the project. When exporting the project, you want to click on the export tab, which is right next to the animations and the view tab in Active Presenter. When and in the export tab, there are a bunch of different ways in exporting the videos, such as YouTube, HTML Slideshow, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, etc. The option that I choose and that we're going to learn how to use is the video option, but you can experiment with the YouTube option if you want. Yeah, if you want, I have not tried it. So you're going to click on the video option, and then the export to video will allow you to bring up this particular menu. And then there are a couple. Everything actually, everything here is should. Everything here shouldn't be shouldn't matter, but or doesn't matter as much. I mean, you can just use the default settings, but there's a couple of buttons that I want to point out. The first button is the browse button. The browse button will allow you to pick your file location, so where you want the finished ex want the export file to go. The next button will be the OK button, and my square did not get on there apparently. The OK button will allow you to start exporting the video, and then the cancel button will allow you will just go back to your ex finished ex or finished uh, video layout. Yeah, finished video layout. Um, when you're when the video starts exporting, it will bring up this progress bar telling you the progress of the video. Be patient with it. Be patient with live finished. If you hit and don't click the cancel button or the X, if you click the cancel button, then you have to re-go through the whole exporting process and your video will be lost or damaged. And then the and then once done recording, the final it will bring up the final export menu. And yeah, bring up the file export menu, and when your pro project has been exported, this menu will pop up. Yep. And then there are options concerning this. The yes option will allow you to automatically go to your project's file locate your project's file location, and then the no option will bring you back to the exported, or it'll just close this menu entirely. Yeah. I'm just gonna just gonna go with what I said. So that is all for how to record and export using Active Presenter and to save at, save the project as. But there there is some final information that I want to share that will hopefully answer all the questions about Actor Presenter that may follow. So 
Active Presenter is available for download. Link is in the description. Uh, there are three programs in all through Active Presenter, although not all of them are free. The version with the intentions that were mentioned in this PowerPoint are free. And then it is up to you on whether or not to or whether or not you wish to invest money into other versions, but it's not necessary. So that yep, so that's all for my presentation. In the next how to tutorial videos, we will be learning how to use game game screen recorder on mobile devices that that have Android software. And then overall the next episode will be Minecraft multiplayer server or another Minecraft multiplayer server episode. And thank you so much for watching, and until next time, farewell to meet again.